What's up? So I'm here to do a quick tutorial using the new Black Opel True Even Foundation and Concealer. Yeah, it says Even True, not True Even, Even True. And this is an ultra smoothing concealer. It's a skin brightener, not a bleaching system, but it's supposed to even out your skin tone. And um, you know, I know I've been using Black Opel for a long time. In a lot of my older videos, I was using the Black Opel um cover and clear concealer and it works very very well so i picked up this foundation in beautiful bronze concealer which is like a roll on the puffer for under your eyes i bought this also and i got beautiful bronze but my skin undertone has changed a lot and i know a lot of black elpa products are kind of like very orange and reddish so we'll see how it goes but this is what the concealer looks like so I left off with my eyebrows. I already primed and lotioned my face up a little bit. So I have a few acne scars that broke out really bad from some medication. So excuse the face, but I just started out with my eyebrows. So I'm going to just shake these up. So I'm going to fast forward through this part. Strictly going to use just the Black Opel products. So I'm not going to highlight or nothing like that. I'm just going to put on the concealer as it's supposed to be. So it says you're supposed to roll it on. So it's very different. I've never seen anything really like this with a concealer and it's a depuffer. So I'm just going to roll it on. Once again, my color is beautiful bronze. So you can see it matches pretty good. And it's an under eye brightener. So that's what it's made for. It's not really for highlighting or anything like that. But you know, there's no rules to make up. You can use this for anything else. So now we're just going to blend this out. And the coverage is phenomenal. I always love Black Opel. Um, Opal, Opel, I know somebody said I pronounced it wrong back in the day. Um, but their coverage is amazing. Like with all their concealers. Now it can get a bit oily depending on what type of concealer you use. But using their liquid concealer, I never got too oily with it. But they're like clay concealers and stuff like that is a bit oily. But to me, it's comparable to MAC in all honesty. Like the coverage of their concealer. Just gonna put a little bit on to see that it's buildable. And once again, I'm far away from my mirror, so it may be a little blotchy because I can't really see. So my mirror is all the way back there. with the concealer on right here you can see how it is so that's the coverage with it now the reason why I apply the concealer first is because the directions say for best results apply the foundation after the even true concealed and brighten under eye concealer to cover dark circles fine lines and wrinkles so that's why I put it on first because typically I'll put my foundation on first then my concealer but it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go by the rules. So next I'm going to add in the foundation, which is the same color, beautiful bronze. So I'm going to start off with a pump like this to see how it goes. Using a Sephora um, foundation brush, stippling brush. So I'm going to stop here so you can see it's actually pretty yellow so that's what I need. I know you can see the difference is obvious but I'm telling you my skin is so freaking yellow like look at this. Like my undertones are yellow as hell so I need yellow as much as it looks weird when I apply it is my undertone. It used to be very orange but now it's yellow because I moved been up here for four years so it's just changed over time. So this is the coverage on this side and then you can see. This side and then this side. This side and this side.
So this is the coverage of the Even True. This coverage is absolutely phenomenal. Like, I'm blown away right now. I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but it's absolutely flawless. Like, it's like no pores, no nothing. I'm absolutely phenomenal. It's so even. <laughs> well, even True is so even. It did exactly what it said. It evened out my skin tone. So this is the coverage over here. It just, it's a super full coverage. Now I'm not a fan of super full coverage, but for this to be drugstore foundation, and like I said, I never doubt Black Opal because I've been using it for a while, but this coverage is more coverage than my Clinique, is more coverage, more coverage than my Smashbox. Coverage wise, it's more. And I only use that one little squirt of it. So you see how it is, it's a bit, it's gonna oxidize on me a little weird. So we'll see how it does throughout the day. So you can see already my skin tone compared to what it's gonna look like. It's a bit darker, it's weird. Like, it's just my skin tone, like, it's not the foundation. I am getting a bit orange. I can already tell that I'm getting a little orange, but we'll see how it goes throughout the night and see how, it, but this is like flawless. It's absolutely flawless. So now, it's like I don't even need a powder. Okay, so now I'm going to add the Makeup Forever. Now, this Makeup Forever powder, y'all, is very orange. So that's my biggest problem with it so far. But look how orange it is. Super orange. But we'll see how it goes. So I don't like using a kabuki brush or anything that's going to powder on a lot of powder. I just like to brush powder on my face. But it's, whew, this bad boy is orange. I'm just gonna put it on. Nothing serious, you like it so and gents. Something just real basic. I'm very plain, like I'm so plain Jane when it comes to my makeup. this being a black opal video I'm gonna apply this this is a beautiful color from them I picked this up actually two weeks ago it's called patent lips it's just a lip color I'm just gonna apply this on guys so this is the final look of my black opal it's absolutely phenomenal like blown away so glad I bought it. It was $12.99 for the foundation at CVS and the concealer was $9.99 from CVS and then um, Makeup Forever, I just put it on top so I won't really talk about this now. This was, I think this was like $6.99 patent lips. It's Black Opal too so I'm all down for Black Opal. Ooh, yes lord. So it's hard to find it here. Um, the CVS on Southside in North Florida has it. There, they have all their products and Black Radiant products. All the urban makeup lines are there. But um, I usually order from EvonyLine.com. I'll put that below because I started ordering from them, getting my Black Opal from them because when I moved here as a freshman, I couldn't go back and forth because I didn't have my car. So back in 09, I ordered from Ebony Line. It came really quickly. And you can order, I think you can order three at a time. The Cover and Clear Black Opal Concealer, that's what I used to order from Ebony Line. So um, I haven't been on there in, a, in like a year, a couple of years, so I, not, I don't even know if they still sell it. But I know that's a provider that sells the Black Opal. So you can check them out if you don't want to, if you can't find it in your local CVS. So. This is my face, you all. It's absolutely flawless. Like, it's like I put on my good, good, expensive stuff and I didn't. So, I'm still worried about getting too orange because it looks like I'm about to get really orange if I walk outside. You know how that be. But for now, it's bomb. It's amazing. I love it. It's full coverage and that concealer is amazing. So, that's my review on it. So, check it out, ladies. And, yeah, great purchase. And I'll holler at y'all later.